When I was in South Africa, I picked up this little saying by Arnold Bennett on time. And it says, by Arnold Bennett, Time is the inexplicable raw material of everything. With it, all is possible. Without it, nothing. The supply of time is truly a daily miracle, an affair genuinely astonishing when one examines it. You wake up in the morning and, lo, your purse is magically filled with 24 hours of the unmanufactured tissue of the universe of your life. It is yours. It is the most precious of possessions. No one can take it from you. It is unstealable. And no one receives either more or less than you receive. In the realm of time, there is no aristocracy of wealth and no aristocracy of intellect. Genius is never rewarded by even an extra hour a day. And there is no punishment. Waste your infinitely previous commodity as much as you will, and the supply will never be withheld from you. Moreover, you cannot draw on the future. Impossible to get into debt, you can only waste the passing moment. You cannot waste tomorrow, it is kept for you. You cannot waste the next hour, it is kept for you. I have said the affair was a genuine miracle, is it not? You have to live on this 24 hours of daily time. Out of it, you have to spend health, pleasure, money, content, respect, and the evolution of your immortal soul. Its right use, its most effective use, is a matter of the highest urgency and of the most thrilling actuality. All depends on that. Your happiness, the elusive prize that you are all clutching for, my friends, depends on that. If one cannot arrange that an income of 24 hours shall exactly cover all proper items of expenditure, one does muddle one's whole life indefinitely. We shall never have any more time. We have, and we have always had, all the time there is. Arnold Bennett. Well said. This guy wasn't doing well, and he wanted to have some advice for me, and I knew he had a television set, and I knew he watched a lot of television. I said, how much did that television set cost you? He said, uh, about $400. I said, no, you're mistaken. He said, no, this television set cost me $400. I said, well, that's to buy it. Uh, to watch it, I'm sure it's costing you about $40,000 a year to watch it. Stop watching in prime time stop watching in prime time start living in prime time prime time is 7 to 11 p.m eastern standard time when all of america is watching other people making money having fun in their professions so if you want to watch other people making money having fun in their professions which gets their ratings up so they make more money go ahead and do things that are tension relieving instead of goal achieving but if you want to live that kind of life in prime time right in prime time, intimacy in prime time, talking with your children in prime time, going to ethnic restaurants in prime time, living and doing in prime time instead of unhooking and tension relieving. Every book I've written has been written, all 17 books have been written in 7 to 11 p.m. weekly and on Saturday. Why? because I'm earning money the rest of the time and I don't have time to write a book except in prime time. So stop watching, use the television set as an appliance. It has doors on it, close the doors and use it like an iron. When you need to iron your clothes, bring out the TV set. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not done it yet and don't forget to click the notification button. I hope you guys learned and enjoyed this video. Thank you and have a great day.